That's the music I asked to come out to. Very in character. Hi, everyone. I'm Mark. Jump right into it. I don't smoke a lot of weed. Not good at smoking weed. I discovered that every time I smoke weed, it's like I'm entering a voice command into my brain that my brain is misunderstanding the way voice commands will be misunderstood. So my brain's like, I have detected marijuana. What sort of experience would you like to have? I'd like to laugh, feel good, feel lighthearted. I heard dwell on mistakes. <laughs> All right, that's not what I want. That's not what I said. I see you're with your friends. How would you like to feel about your friends? <laughs> Friendship, love, I'd like to laugh with them. I heard mistrust. <laughs> okay. Stop doing this. It used to be worse until I realized I could smoke less. You don't have to smoke all the weed every time you're past the weed. You can smoke slightly less than all. You don't have to learn that with anything else, you know? No one's ever been like, hey man, you want some toast? Nah, I don't really like toast. Every time I eat toast, I get like super bloated and then I puke like a lot, like way too much. How much toast are you eating? Couple loves, is that way too much? Well, that's way too much. Now I know, now I know. It's just any time we're passing toast around the toast circle outside the high school, I'm worried if I eat any less than two loves, Grady will call me gay, but now I know. It's Grady's POV, I don't buy it, but that's Grady. <laughs> tried cocaine once, emphasis on tried. I failed to accomplish my goal. I was too afraid of the cocaine. Too afraid to snort it all the way up my nose, so I snorted it halfway up my nose, and then it lived in my nose. <laughs> People were like, what do you think? I was like, it's an interesting drug, you know? You stay sober, but you can't breathe a bit? I like it. I like it. Straight up, I was genuinely picking kernels of cocaine out of my nose hairs for a full week, which is a mixed blessing because people would see me picking my nose like, gross. And I'd be like, no, it's cocaine. And they'd be like, cool, that's cool. Didn't realize that. That makes it cool. Mostly I just drink, I drink beer, I drink it all. I like to mix up my liquors throughout the night. Ooh, a dangerous game I'm playing. We all know that. That's why we as a society have created helpful little rhymes to keep things straight in our head, which order to mix our drinks in. We know these, of course. Beer before liquor, you've never been sicker. Liquor before beer, you're in the clear. We know this, helpful rhymes to help keep things straight. Of course, there's more. Beer before cider, awaken the spider. <laughs> cider before beer, no spiders appear. It's just helpful rhymes. Keep things straight, have a good night. Beer before rum, the spider will come. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Rum before beer, the spider, not here. It's helpful rhymes. We know this. Beer before wine, it's spider time. The point is you gotta drink beer last, unless you wanna meet a little someone I like to call the spider, which maybe you do. I like movies, I like films. I feel like those two things are different in ways that are hard to define. My best definition of the difference between those two things is a film is a movie that's smarter than me and just knows it. Like there's, every time I watch a film, I feel like there's one moment where some character says something in another language and they in no way try to translate it for me. So someone will be like, this is my friend Pierre. Bonjour, oui, c'est moi Pierre, et voici ce qu'on va faire. C'est ça, 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 et c'est fa, fa, fa. Et comme le philosophe Socrate a dit, allons-y! And then they all walk off screen and I'm at home like, oh, I guess I didn't need to know that information. <laughs> And they kind of glance at the camera like, oh no, that would have seriously enriched your experience. <laughs> Next time be smarter before you try to watch a film. <laughs> Whereas a movie will bend over backwards to translate anything you might not understand. All right, this is my friend Pierre, bonjour. Hey, no, 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 fuck that. What the fuck did he just say? Hey, easy, easy. He said bonjour, which is French for hi. Bonjour is French for hi. Yo, is that true, Pierre? Is bonjour French for hi? Yes, 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 I am sorry. I said it in my confusing native tongue. But as our compatriot has said, bonjour is simply French for hi. 
Well, now we know. Bonjour is French for hi. Then they all turn to the camera. Bonjour is French for hi. <laughs> and I'm at home like, mmm, thank you, movie. <laughs> I'm learning. <laughs> right, I'm gonna do one last thing for you guys. A special treat, a special treat. Um, what's your name, ma'am? Sean. Sean? Yes. Say it for me again. Sean. Sean. Uh, are you a fan of Justin Bieber, Sean? I'm not really. No, sweet, all right, this is killing it. <laughs> I love this, Montreal, what's up? Next time, bring an audience plant. That's fine, Sean, you don't have to be a big fan of the Bieber, but you do have to engage in this game that I think is relatively easy and you'll have a good time playing. Are you ready? It's a lyrics identification game called simply Justin Bieber lyric or something I imagine a demon would say to a small boy he wants to consume. <laughs> Okay? So I'm gonna read some lines to you and you tell me, is that a Justin Bieber lyric or something I imagine a demon would say to a small boy he wants to consume? Does that make sense? Thank you, Sean. Okay, number one. Oh, yeah, mmm. That's the full line, Sean. That's all you got to work with. You think it's Justin Bieber? That is correct, Sean, that is correct. That's Justin Bieber from the song, You Smile. You smile. Number two, you're making me crazy. You're saying that's Bieber? No, that's the demon. <laughs> it's the demon talking to a small boy he wants to consume. Oh, you're making me crazy! That's a demon. If you know demons, that's a demon. That's for sure a demon. That's all right, that's fine. You don't know demons that well, but I do. Number three, your lips, my biggest weakness. You're saying Bieber for sure. Oh, she's coming with the confidence. That is correct, Sean, that is correct. That's Justin Bieber from the song, You Smile, You Smile. Number four, you ain't seen nothing yet. You're saying that's the demon? No, that's Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber from the song, You Smile, You Smile. A lot of research went into this joke. Number five, girl, I need you. You're saying that's Bieber. No, that's the demon. He's calling the small boy a girl to hurt his feelings before he consumes him. Yeah, that's demon behavior. You're a girl, oh, you're making me crazy. It's like, you know what, it's, the demons will get you in all kinds of ways. Finally, number six, Sean. Hey girl, it's me, it's Justin Bieber. It's Justin Bieber for sure, not a demon. Why don't you get over here so I can not consume you? It's Justin. You think that's the demon? Sean, you gotta familiarize yourself with You Smile, because that's a hell of a song. I'm sorry, that's Justin Bieber. All right, enjoy the rest of your night, guys. Thanks for having me.